Welcome to HNK is a 24 episode anime adaptation of a novel produced by Gonzo that people seem to like, so as a person that officially hates everything you ever stood for, it's my god given duty to shit on it as much as humanly possible. The story is about Tatsuhiro Sato, a paranoid, highly unstable, and emotional 22 year old Hikikomori with a strong moral compass that gets dragged by a random girl he hasn't met before into a sort of therapy session that gets him increasingly more outdoors and having him to meet with various people he knew before. And it's all as because being Hikikomori is sad, okay? It's not normal and weird, and you're a burden on society. Also add the usual quote-unquote serious anime stuff about suicide and suicide groups. Seriously, this is like quoting the Stalker games from imagining Eastern Europe at this point. Welcome to YMCA is an anime that reminds me of several animes I've seen before, not in terms of their story, visuals, or even the overall feel, no. For example, it reminds me of March Comes Like a Lion in that they both feel like they're trying too hard, and also that it's supposed to make you feel sad. It also reminds me of that because the best time to watch this sort of show is when you yourself are feeling down on life and don't really feel any sort of incentive to live or just struggle in the environment you're trapped in, a lot of what Tatsuhiro or any other character goes through may in fact be all too common for people that ever had even a small episode of depression in their life, so I can't really argue that it's a badly crafted story, and it's not. I guess the biggest criticism I can offer to the whole narrative is that the story feels like it deliberately holds itself and the your main characters are actually not very good people sort of thing. Given the tone the story sets, I've expected Tatsuhiro to be into heavy drugs and Yamazaki to be really into Lolicon, but no, it's a bit generic in regards to this, like those movies I've rambled on about and forgot. I can't say it's a bad anime, though. The story is competently crafted, it's fun to watch how characters evolve and grow throughout the series, the music is pretty nice to listen to, though can't really say it's very memorable, even the parts of the show I thought were terrible, like the annoying Tatsuhiro's rampant imagination dialogues, ultimately aren't out of place, serve a role within the story, and even evolve as the story and Tatsuhiro change. There are two reasons why I don't like the story, though. First, First is the preachiness of it. The whole Hikikomori shtick is kinda getting a bit overdone these days, but you know what also doesn't help? Setting the main moral of the story to be roughly equivalent of life will fix ya. Yeah, just go and find a job or die of starvation. If only life was so easy. Being raped by a burly Bhutanese gimp for 2-4 years straight won't turn me into a flaming homosexual, I'd at best just get used to it, at worst turn actively homophobic or hate Bhutan as a nation. The just go outside argument falls flat in a story where the whole point is that the person gets a panic attack every time he enters an open space, and combined with the anti-suicide messages, the show had a strong taste of being some sort of state-sponsored propaganda. The second reason is likely a bit more personal, as even my employers actively disagree with me in this regard, but I think the story is meandering too much. It does in five episodes what shows even back in the day would have done in three with roughly the same result. A lot of the plot points feel pointless or go nowhere, like the game they were making or the Suicide Club. The problem with Welcome to CBT is that it's the kind of anime where I'll say I don't like it because X and everyone will say, well, X is the whole point. I'd say it looks alright, the story is strong, if occasionally hovering around those drug PSA levels of pompous self-praise, but I was left underwhelmed because nothing much happened and what happened mostly didn't mean anything and they'll say, ooh, but that's the point. It's a story of a group of misfits confronting each of society's ills while adjusting to the petty gloom of post-industrial life. Yeah, but I can get the same feeling from reading the political part of Twitter, and I already hate myself enough as it is, thank you very much. Still, if I were to give an anime a recommendation, I would describe it as, this anime is like life itself. Mentally ugly to look at, and ultimately boring. Have fun! Mm -hmm.